What's up everybody? In today's video, we're gonna be hitting salt balls with anything but a bat. This right here is a frying pan. Looks like you can cook a mean grilled cheese on it. And I wanna see which object can hit the salt ball the furthest. Let's go. All right, the first object has gotta be the frying pan because it's 102 degrees outside and if I hold this too long, it hurts. So let's see how far it can hit. I'm thinking it doesn't even go into the outfield. I'm gonna one hand it, let's get it. Okay, so if I hit it right here. All right. All right, we're going to two-hand it, just absolutely demolish it right now. Let's see what happens. Which way should I hit it? Oh, definitely this way. All right, y'all ready? Oh, my finger. It's okay. Okay, so this thing sucks. I, I dented it. It's not, it is just not worth it anymore. You can't even cook a grilled cheese on it. It sucks. I don't like it. Next object. All right, the next non-bat up is the shovel. I'ma call this the grave digger, not the gold digger like your mom. <laughs> anyway, uh, I feel like this is gonna do good. I was at Home Depot testing this bad boy out. I can swing it. I can swing it. I feel like if I hit it this way, it'll just catapult that bad boy all the way to the outfield, maybe to the moon. Who knows, might be a moon shot, we'll see. I don't think this is the way to go. I'll try both out and let you know, but. I'm thinking catapult activate is the best way. Let's go. My hands are so sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. The vomit on my sweater already. I'm gonna get copyrighted because it sounds just like Eminem. All right. Oh, y'all ready? I think it's gonna go. I think it'll go to the outfield. Let's get it. Dude, this thing hurts. It didn't quite make it to the outfield. It rolled to the outfield. Let's try it the other way. See if that does better. All right, I hit catapult way the first time. Like that. I think I got under it. Cracked my teeth. Now we're going to hit this way. Comment down below which way you think is going to do better. Here comes the pitch. Pretty good velocity. That was a hit. Let's go. That would have been a base hit. I'm not going to lie. That would have been a base hit against any team. I ranked the Grave Digger about an 8.2 out of 10. Sorry. Guys, we had a terrible loss on the set today, okay? He just he just exploded some more. I was making a bat salt. Oh, yeah. Okay, I probably should've got four, dang it, it's all right. Um, and it just absolutely got overheated and exploded. Um, I don't. Ew. That's not bad, actually. Um, I'm not mad. I know what you're thinking. And no, this is not a Gucci necklace. This is a toilet seat. And I know what else you're thinking. Toilet seats are designed to take nukes, not hit nukes. But today, we're gonna see what this bad boy can handle, okay? We're gonna see if it can withstand the pressure of a softball. I'm gonna be real with y'all a second. I have no idea how I'm gonna swing this. I think the best grip is to gorilla grip it right here and just absolutely swing and hope the lid catches the brunt force of the ball. Um, I don't know how this is gonna work. I think I'm gonna smash my fingers in the toilet seat and I think I might cry tonight. Uh, but yeah, this is what we're doing. I have no hope in this at all. I think it's gonna fail miserably, just like my old English teacher tried to do to me, but it didn't work. Here we go. Oh gosh. Yeah, I don't know what we expected. Um, it went past second base. Uh, all right. So over a 
100 degrees my phone keeps overheating and i'm gonna make this video for y'all guys but i also have some more bad news you remember my toilet seat friend he hurt me he hurt me i i don't know why he did this to me um i was nothing but nice to him i don't i don't understand moving on to the tennis racket i believe the tennis racket even though it is youth size and small in stature i feel hey cops i'm filming a video please stop i feel that this object might have the best force behind it it has like a little bit of a spring action so i think we'll be good it's like a little it's ready it's fully loaded guys this is this, this is automatic let's get it you may notice we have a guest on the tee mr toilet seat He's joining us for the remainder of the video, okay? Um, we'll get his words and thoughts and inputs after the game. Back to the show. I'm a one-handed. I shouldn't have one-handed it. Fun fact about me, I play tennis left-handed and ping pong. Let's go. You know what, we're gonna try this. You're not good, you suck. You're good for nothing. <laughs> you saw what I did to him, right? Me too. <laughs> oh, uh, I'd rank it about a, it's not the worst, not the best, a five, a solid five. All right, some of y'all may know I went to school in Montgomery. So I have some friends in Montgomery and I was told to use a foldable chair. I wasn't registered for the metal chair, so I can't use it, but I've been told you can uh, you can hit pretty good with these bad boys. First off, let's see if they can hold me. Okay, so I don't know how to unfold it. This is not like the church chairs. I don't I don't know what to do. I'm not a parent. I should have I should have brought a kid with me. Why? Oh, it, it, what? Sorry for the guy cutting the grass. He just showed up out of nowhere. He's very nice though. He's gotta do his job and I gotta do my job, you know? I have no hope in this. My hope lies in Jesus Christ alone. Let's try that again. Go. Oh, okay. That ain't bad. So my review on the foldable chair is, I want to make it break really bad. Um, so we're about to try to make it break. Walk on it. Are you joshing me? Oh, shoot. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is sturdy. Oh, there we go. We did it. I did it. That would have sucked if it hit me in the back of the head. Let's move on. I think, I think if I swing this right, and if it wasn't so thick, I could actually hit it pretty far. It's pretty thick. It's pretty long. I'm seven foot. So it's about five foot. No, I'm playing. I'm five foot seven and a half, five foot eight with shoes on. Don't forget it. You will be quizzed on that. That's about that's about the height of a wooden plank. Um, so let's just see how far I can hit this ball. I think this one's gonna be the best. I don't think anyone can uh, dis dispute that either. Let's get it. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye, captain. Okay, let's see if I can even. Oh yeah, I can do this. Oh. <laughs> Hey, if this video gets uh, one view and one comment, I'll take off my shirt because <laughs> it's 110 degrees outside. I'm consistent if nothing else. Bob the Builder can, so we can too. Let's go. <laughs> Wendy, can we fix it? No, we can't. 
<laughs> I did hit my rib that time. All right. <laughs> this is your fault, bro. This is literally your fault. Don't ever do that again. Okay, I'm not mad with the wooden board. It did really well. Um, I don't know what I expected when I swung full speed and nicked my uh, third rib from below. Um, but hey, it's okay, you know? We give and take and I have, I have one more object and we're gonna give it a shot, all right? Because we were over halfway there and John Bon Jovi once said, oh, living on a prayer. Take my hand and we'll make it, I swear. Oh, we're over halfway there. That's not the lyrics, but it fits. Obviously, I had to use a cherry Coke. It just looks like a baseball bat to me. I'm probably gonna have to toss it up and hit it. Um, it's really hot outside and this drink is really hot, but I gotta taste it. That is hot. Oh no. That should work, right? If I just tape, if I just tape one hand on it, I should be able to grip it, right? I taped it upside down. Dude, I'm getting nervous, I can't get it out. Hang on. Okay. So if I grip this like this and sling it, I should be good. Let's go. Dude, what? Okay. I really should have had my sunglasses on for that. I have cherry coke all in my eyes. Um, okay, now I feel better. Now I'm not sticky. So my pride is telling me I need to hit a home run before I leave because I didn't hit anything out of the grass. But I know that I'm not supposed to be prideful. I'm supposed to be humble because that's what God said we're supposed to do. So I'm not going to do it. That and I'm extremely soaking wet from that Coke, cherry Coke. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I post a ton of funny, great videos all the time. And I would really appreciate y'all's support. We're almost to 500K, which is insane to me and mind blowing. But thank y'all so much for all that y'all do. You're absolutely amazing. Have an amazing and restful week. I love y'all. God bless. Bye.